and you go chill, you go hit that thing throughout the weekend. Ah! And you send her back to her. Do it place. again, media. You go hit that thing throughout the weekend. And you send her back to her place. So what's more expensive? Having a full-time girlfriend or a single servant relationship? So that's why I've never had an issue. What did he say? So what's more expensive? Having a full-time girlfriend or a single servant relationship? I had to listen to that twice. My man said a single serving relationship. That's like dinner for one. <laughs> You're not supposed to even tell them this, dog. You're not. Fellas, I hope you're paying attention and taking notes. So that's why I've never had an issue with pain. And also, guys, if you have a skill set in anything, your profession, and you can teach a woman something, and I've touched on this before, Look, you need to be able to teach these women something listen. before they leave your house because they'll never forget that. I've taught women how to buy homes. Woof. I've taught women how to invest in the stock market. And... I'm also a certified combat arms instructor. This is the part that pissed me off, medium man, because this was my move right here. This was my move, my move, my move when I lived in Atlanta. And oh, bruh, thank you so, so much, man. Thank you so, so much. Medium man coming through with the $20 holla says, I got to drop some bread for you for this review. Thank you again, man. It's my pleasure, man. You put it out there. Look, you just gave me the ooh. You just threw me the ooh. It's easy for me to slam that down. Shout out to you, yo. We're going to bring in the SWAT team. Let's keep going. Most women do not know how to shoot. Yes. They have weapons or they may want to get a weapon and they've never been to a gun range. So you know what I do? Look at this. Lean, lean into it. Look. There you go. She's got some good aim. She's hitting center mass. This is so freaking good and medium man. That was my move, brother. Atlanta, it's very easy to get a carry license. I was so excited in 2010 when I moved down there. I moved from Maryland, where back then you it was almost impossible. You had to work in law enforcement, some form of security, or like a cash business, like barbers could carry uh, firearms. When I got to Atlanta, and, and I, I, I talked about this in my last live, I love firearms. For me, going to the range is like getting a massage. What I've found is that it is a pure aphrodisiac for women to have that power in their hands in the moment. He's got her there with the pistol. Give her a rifle, an AR style rifle. A medium man says that he is a certified combat arms instructor. That's huge. Bro, I used to take my ladies to the class, yo. Shout out to 4G Tactical in Georgia. Paul 4G, if you're in Georgia, go take a 4G Tactical class. Tell him El Guapo sent you. He's not going to know who would take him to a basic pistol, a combat pistol, a combat, a tactical AR, tactical shotgun class where you're out there and you're firing at the berm and stuff like that. I had a Tavor bullpup with the EOTech. It was a uh, flat dark earth FDE with the EOTech holographic sight and the slap to side magnifier. Man, I will put that in a woman's hands and I will put the, the target medium man will tell you this put the target at, at seven yards, 21 feet, and just let her let loose. And slap that magnifier up so she can see exactly what she's doing. And ba ba ba, man, bruh, I'm telling you. And it doesn't even have to be as big as that. Let me tell you something. Medium man says, you know, be able to teach them something. I'm gonna teach y'all something right now. Medium man, if you're still in here, if I'm lying, I'm flying, call me out in the chat. You should. Develop yourself to the point to be able to handle a firearm with both eyes open. Starting out, you're probably going to have to close one or the other. Which one you close depend, depends on which eye dominant you are. Everybody, if you look across the room, wherever you are, right, let's say 10, 15 feet, and you pick something small across the room, 
and make a diamond symbol with your hand like this, okay? Both eyes open, look at it. Close one eye, close the other eye. One eye, that object is gonna be within that diamond. The other eye, the object is gonna be covered up with your hand. When you can see the object in the diamond, that's what eye dominant you are. Teach a woman that. Man, I'm helping y'all, bro. I'm helping y'all because Medium Man decided to, listen, we just doing this tonight. After tonight, y'all gonna have to go subscribe to Medium Man's Patreon to get this info. Teach a woman that. She'll never forget it. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's the truth. Y'all don't know this is so cold, man, and I understand it's above certain people's heads. Yeah. Let's get back into it. I'm running my mouth too much. Women that I deal with, I always teach them how to handle a firearm. Yes. I always teach them how to shoot, and I always teach them how to maintain a firearm. This is yep. something that most women do not know how to do. So I'm adding a little bit of value to their lives. That's a lot of, of the value. Fact that they're going to leave and be like, you know what, girl? He taught me how to shoot a weapon. He taught me all of this stuff, girl. She's going to talk about you in a positive light. And also, I told the story where I taught this woman how to buy a home because That's she was huge. scared that she didn't qualify. I walked her through the process. Until this day, she still thanks me for the home that she bought. Bruh, and he came with the receipts to not receipts, invoices. He's helping women get into homes. Yo, help a woman get into a home. Help her get into a job, a career. She'll never forget you. They never forget it. Shout out to Media Man with the invoices. Bump the receipts. We got invoices. The same thing with learning how to cook. I know how to cook. My mom taught me how to cook. Uh -oh. So I made sure that every woman that I dealt with, I would show them, hey, you know, this is how you cook this. Because I grew up in California. I know how to cook Mexican food. So tacos are my specialty. It's damn near like 10, 20 women out there that think I only cook tacos for them. Because I got to say this. I got to say this. This right here is so freaking underrated. One of the biggest things that you can do, in my opinion, to not necessarily humble a woman, but to let her know that, yo, like for real, for real, I hate to say that I don't need you, but like I'm better than you is to learn to cook. When I tell you, ma'am, and listen, if you if you're a follower of the channel, I've talked about yo. I'm gonna abandon beautiful eyes and start a cooking channel. Lead attorney laughed at me when I said that. Laughed at me when I said that. He was like, "You're starting a cooking channel." I was like, "Yeah, shout out to Lead. You know, I love I love my guy, man. Shout out to Lead." But when it comes to cooking, bro, over here in the Guapo household, it ain't a game. It is not a game. That is lobster ravioli prepared completely and plated by yours truly. This is one of the coldest parts of game. If you have a home and you can come and bring a woman to your home and you can cook for her, when you can make her a puff pastry with whipped cream cheese and salmon roe on top, you're winning. This is all me. When you can make her lamb burgers wrapped in prosciutto and you get the plumpest tomatoes you can find and you make your own vinaigrette, you're winning. When you own a sous vide and you can cook a steak to the perfect medium temperature and then properly sear it, when you can make a pan sauce bordelaise to top it with, and I'm not even showing over here on the side the potato roses that I made, you're winning. Women never forget that. And it's cheaper than going to a restaurant. Listen to what I'm telling you, fellas. If she's got a sweet tooth, hit her with the chocolate molten lava cake, y'all. It's not a game, yo. Learn how to plate. This is when I was learning how to plate things. There was a point in Atlanta where I no longer had to take women out. I told you stories like this. I told you about the girl that came and stole the watch and the ring from me. I told you all this. I told you, my baby's mama. I got one baby mama. Yeah, that's what happened, yo. Medium man is putting y'all up on game. Fellas, learn how to cook. Take the time. It is such a great skill to have. Such a great skill. 
make them a mill crepe. You guys know what a mill crepe is? Where you make a, a series of 20 crepes on top of each other, alternating the regular and the cocoa crepes. This is all stuff I did. My girls, my daughters asked me to make them a mill crepe, and I did that. I'm telling you, here's a little Gordon Ramsay recipe. This is a crispy salmon on top of a crushed new potato with jumbo lump crab meat and roasted tomatoes. Delicious. Plate this and serve it to a woman at your crib and see how long it takes for the titties to come out. Just see, just see. She will never forget you, yo, never. Baby, I'm sorry. You really wanna step your game up? Challenge yourself. Learn how to make sushi. Yes, even down to the cucumber raft. This is why I say like I'm mad at medium man, but I'm, gonna, I'm pulling back the veil just a little bit for y'all. He glossed over the cooking aspect. This is huge. This is something that women are supposed to dominate, but the best chefs in the world are men. And I'm telling you, when you can do this for a woman, make them the cucumber, uh, what's that? The cucumber whale. This is all me. I'm so much better now. Make them a mosaic sushi with the white and the pink sushi rice, with the salmon and the tuna. I'm telling you, bruh, it ain't a game. When I say I wanted to start a cooking channel, it was for real. It was for real. Medium man, when he's like, yo, I was cooking for these women and they were coming through and look, the panties or, or whatever is happening, we're going to keep this above bar. That's the truth.